Well, we're going to take a few minutes this morning and talk about the local legal dramas worthy of a Hollywood script, certainly. Over the past 24 hours, the family of Drew Peterson's third wife, Kathleen Savio, filed a wrongful death lawsuit against him. And a judge ruled that former governor, Rob Lagojevich, cannot leave the country to be on a reality TV show that he says he wants to be on. Our legal expert attorney, Thomas Glasgow, joins us this morning to help explain a little bit uh, into these latest twists and turns. Good morning, nice to have Good you morning, here. Good morning, Judy. You know, you were just saying that you could write a Hollywood script and I don't know that people would actually accept it. If I pitch these this. things, I don't think people would actually believe the storyline. It has, so much has happened. So let's start with the Drew Peterson case. So Kathleen Savio's family filed this wrongful death lawsuit. It's a civil case. Yes. What, what does that mean? he hasn't been charged criminally. That's correct. Essentially, the family uh, has filed on his behalf, or excuse me, on her behalf, mm -hmm. on the estate's behalf, a suit against Drew Peterson in order to recover monetary damages, essentially saying that his actions somehow wrongfully caused the death of Kathleen Savio. And what they're looking for is a finding of liability. It's a civil standard. It's a preponderance of the evidence. There's no criminal liability that attaches to this particular lawsuit. So it's not guilt or innocence in this case. It's liability. Is it easier to prove in a civil court? Yes, it actually is. It's a lower standard. You've got that high burden of beyond a reasonable doubt in a criminal case. This is a preponderance of the evidence. It's sim just simply 51%. It's unusual for it to come before a criminal criminal case has been decided though. For several reasons, you run into some problems. First of all, as a state's attorney, I don't think I would want someone else running my my show, running my, my case. So you've got a civil attorney who's now mm. attempting to, you know, call witnesses in depositions, etc. The second thing is his Fifth Amendment right attaches. If you re recall, with regard to O.J. Simpson, after the criminal case was over and there was no more criminal liability, mm -hmm. he could be forced to testify in depositions, he could be forced to oh, answer interrogatories. In this case, because there's a criminal case pending and a very real possibility that he can look at some kind of incarceration incarceration, double jeopardy, or excuse me, I apologize, his self-incrimination rights okay. do attach. So it's a little bit more complicated. Yes. Now let's move on to the former okay. governor's case. He was just denied yesterday his request to go to Costa Rica to appear on a reality TV show. And we want to tell you that this is what uh, Rob Lagovich said. He says, I respect the judge and his decision in this case. I am trying to find a way to work to support my little girls and family. Why did the judge, what did he say about denying his request? He essentially said that Mr. Bogoyevich doesn't really grasp the importance of what is occurring to him. And, uh, you know, you talk about reality. I don't think that the former governor is really grounded in reality asking to go to Costa Rica and do a reality show. I mean, you know, I think all of us understand earning a living for your family, but it, it, it's, it borders on the realm of absurd for a former governor who's charged with political wrongdoing to go off to Costa Rica to a place where they don't really have a good solid extradition treaty with the U.S. They do have one from 1991, oh, okay. but political crimes fall under a specific clause in there that are, uh, they, they're more protected than the regular crimes. Oh, okay. So it, it could cause some problems in getting him back if he chose to just not come back. And that's what the judge was sort of uh, indicating. Now, what about his argument that he needs money? Well, he, he does have his political fund in order to fund the attorneys. I believe the attorneys, it, when the judge, Judge Eagle goes ahead and grants this, they'll be billed out at $110 an hour. They'll be able to uh, prepare his defense. It's nowhere near what this should cost, mm. but it, it is going to be able to fund that. As we said, these are just the latest developments. I'm sure there will be more. Thomas, always good to have you here. It's always good to be Thanks here. Thanks for Thank joining you. us. It is right now 6.15.